plants. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Quarantine Kitchen. I'm Paul Desmond, and it's always great to see you. For this episode, we're going to make a vegetarian recipe. We're going to do spaghetti squash with mushrooms and spinach. To make my spaghetti squash with mushrooms and spinach, we will need spaghetti squash, some mushrooms, a lot of spinach, an onion, olive oil, our old friends, salt and pepper, walnuts, and top it off with a little goat cheese. When I told a friend of mine that I was making spaghetti squash, they told me that they've never had it before, but that they love noodles. I let them down easy. There are no noodles in this dish, only vegetables and joy. You end up just shifting things back and forth a lot. You'll see what I mean. Just remember to start by washing your hands, the mushrooms, the squash, and uh, the onion. We need to get the squash into the oven quickly, so chop them in half lengthwise. This is definitely easier said than done. Don't hurt yourself. If you need a break right after, take it. Then scoop all the seeds and insides out of the squash. I scoop them into a bowl, but feel free to scoop them right into the trash. I'm sure there is another recipe somewhere that uses this, but uh, it's not this one. Then grab the olive oil and drop some in. Use a rubber brush to paint the hollowed out inside of each squash. Then toss some salt and pepper all over. Do this for each halve you have. Cover a cookie sheet in parchment paper and place each squash halve on it, face down. Get out a fork and use it to punch a bunch of holes into the outer shell of the squash. This will allow heat to travel through the entire thing, softening it evenly. Speaking of heat, throw these guys into the oven at at least 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. Move on to the mushrooms. Just slice them up kind of thin and shimmy them into a separate bowl. And now it's the onion's turn. Dice him up into small pieces and collect them into a different bowl. Aw, oh, nuts. That's right, walnuts. These things give any vegetarian meal some crunch and depth. I always find them in my pantry and say to them, one of these days I'm going to cut you into little pieces. Well, today was the day, Mr. Floyd. Anyway, brush them into yet another bowl as well. Now get a pan on the stove and fire it up to 11. Scrape them into the pan and then shake your nuts back and forth until they turn brown. After that, get them out of the pan. You can use the same bowl you put them in earlier. The pan is still hot, so drop a few glugs of olive oil and toss the mushrooms in. Shake them and stir them around for a minute before throwing the diced onion into the deep end with them. Give those a good stir as well. Vegetables deserve love like everything else. Then we get out our old friends, salt and pepper, and cover the mushroom onion mix. Stir all that together and ha-ha! Do the garlic, 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 and mix that in too. This part always cracks me up. You can add about one metric ton of spinach to this and you'd never know it in the end. Once you've challenged yourself to see how much spinach you can fit into a pan, do your best to stir that around. Spinach is a stubborn beast and will be difficult to tame early on. Persistence is key, though. Eventually, like anything, it will get easier the more you stick with it. If you feel like your spinach has vanished, this is normal. Don't be alarmed. It's time to get the armadillo army out of the oven. They are pretty hot under the collar, so once they're free, let them stand at attention for at least five minutes to let them cool down. Be sure to bump your camera when you go to flip them over. You may need to let them cool for a few minutes with this side up too. Now, using a fork, gently scrape out the squash's guts. Don't feel bad, we're only borrowing them, and we'll give them back. You'll know that it's cooked through, and if you're doing it right, if it resembles spaghetti noodles. I let these ones cool forever, and they were still pretty hot when I went to scrape them, so be careful. When you have a good amount of hacked up squash insides, move all the piles from the shells into the pan with the rest of the veggies. As always, stir a lot of that in there, creating a large, homogeneous, harmonious relationship. Feel free to sprinkle a little more salt and pepper in there, too, and give them a good stir. Grab your nuts and drop in the entire load. 
Swish them around the pan a few times until everything comes together. Now get out the goat cheese, which hopefully you just took out of the fridge. Cold pieces of goat cheese will easily crumble into whatever you want. But I left this goat cheese out while I was cooking. Yeah, don't do that. Anyway, add just a little bit and mix it in before you scoop the mixture out of the pan and back into the shells. I told you we'd give them their guts back. Fill each shell with as much as it will hold and top them with the rest of the goat cheese. If you left it out again, like I did, this will take some time. It sticks to your fingers and won't drop off. You know, just make sure it's cold. I know that I will next time I make this. Then get one of these fallen armadillos onto a plate and buckle up for a big pile of awesome. And that's how you make my spaghetti squash with mushrooms and onions. This looks pretty great. I cannot wait to eat this. For more videos like this, feel free to drop a like, or even better yet, subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face right about here somewhere. This has been Quarantine Kitchen. I'm Paul Desmond. See you next time. I don't even know what I'm going to say. Ha <laughs> ha.